CO, Tracy Sorrell here. CO is how we say hi in Cherokee. I am the author of We Are Grateful, Ojali Haliga. It's illustrated by Renee Lessig and published by Charles Bridge Publishing. And today I'm gonna to share a little bit of the book with you and I have permission from Charles Bridge as well as the audiobook publisher, Live Oak Media. But before we jump into that, I just want to talk a little bit about how I created the book with my friend Frené Lessig. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a double page spread for our next book that comes out on April 20th, 2021 called We Are Still Here, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know. But first, like I say, We Are Grateful, Ojali Haliga was written by me and illustrated by Frené. Now, why did I write this book? Sometimes we notice things that are missing and we feel like, why isn't there this, whatever it is, in, you know, existing in the world? Well, for me, I had been reading books to my son about Cherokee people, which is the tribe that he and I are citizens of, and um, different stories that are traditional stories that our elders have told us. And I said, okay, where are the books about Cherokee people now? Because obviously we're still here and I couldn't find any. And that really concerned me because I know that there are over 370,000 Cherokee Nation citizens. And so other parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents are having the same thoughts that I am, I'm sure. Similarly, what happens when kids go to school? What are their teachers and librarians pulling out from the shelves to share about Cherokee people if those folks aren't Cherokee themselves. So that's when I realized I need to learn how to write books for children. And I took some classes, I read lots of books because if you wanna be a good writer, you've got to read a lot of books. So I started reading lots of books for children. I started taking um, some classes, some online, some in person, little seminars and working on my writing skills because children are a demanding audience. You have to write really well to keep their attention and that's what I love about children's literature is that the writing is really, really well done. Sometimes things for adults can go on and on and on, not so with kids. And I worked on that, I submitted it to Charles Bridge and they wanted to make it into a book. So they hired uh, my friend Frene, who I didn't know at the time, but I had seen her work and I knew it was beautiful. And if you haven't seen the book, you'll love all of her gorgeous illustrations. There's so much color in this book. So right now, of course, um, at my house, it's spring, and we're seeing lots of light green come out on the trees, and flowers are blooming. In Cherokee country where I live in northeastern Oklahoma, We've been digging up wild onions and enjoying those with scrambled eggs. Um, it's part of some of our traditional first foods of spring. So Frene came all the way from West Australia where she lives now. She grew up in New Jersey, but she lives there now with her husband and family. And she came to see me in uh, Cherokee country here in Northeastern Oklahoma so that she could make sure she got the art right. So that's another part of it too. This book talks about Cherokee people today and how we express gratitude through our culture, um, giving thanks for not just, you know, wonderful things that happen in our life, but also struggles that we have. And that's what we were taught by our ancestors and by our family members. So when she came, we toured her around. We sent her home with lots of pictures of Cherokee people and all of our different trees and creeks and rivers and foods so that she could create the beautiful, colorful art that you see in the book. And I'm sure that while many of you are home, you've hopefully been creating some art yourselves. I would uh, encourage you to write stories, to illustrate what you see outside. I've been watching birds outside my window. I've had, I counted 16 different types of birds at my bird feeder the other day. So there's all kinds of things. You could create a comic, play a song, etc. But I want to play just a little bit for you because one of the fun things about making this book that I didn't even know was a possibility was that we can make an audiobook of it. 
and Live Oak Media created a CD that features myself and four other Cherokee citizens who are reading um, from the story. So let me play that now. This is Gold Husky. Fall. When cool breezes blow and leaves fall, we say, Ojali, hey, Nia. Uli go husty. Uli go husty. Oh. And that's, those are the cheer keywords are at the bottom of every page. You see those. As shell shakers dance all night around the fire and burnt cedar scent drifts upward during the great new moon ceremony. As we clean our houses, wear new clothes, enjoy a feast, and forget old quarrels to welcome the Cherokee New Year. That's just a little taste of the audiobook with um, the book. And let me show you just a quick sneak peek. So the book that's coming out next spring, we are still here, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know, talks about um, things that we don't learn in class. Um, generally speaking, when you learn about Native nations and their citizens, that work stops around the late 1800s. And so what the book does is starts from there at the end of treaty making in 1871 and comes up to the present. And one of the periods that people don't know about that's featured in the book, and this is actually, um, Frenet and I are doing this again, this is probably one of the, the lesser colorful spreads because most of them are so brightly colored. This is the relocation period. So during the um, 1950s, 1960s, the federal government had a program where they said to Native people, if you leave your tribal homelands, we'll move you to the city and um, help you get job training and go to classes, etc. And so here are some families getting off the bus. Um, and this was this is like set up um, in a, a downtown area. And so it's a lot different from where they came from before. But the text talks about um, that time period. And now we have over 70% of all native people that live in cities. So again, these are things that aren't taught in your classroom. There's all kinds of, of stuff. There's talking about how kids are learning you know, our languages again after a time period where they were sent off to boarding schools separated from their families and made to not be able to speak their language. Um, the book just has lots of things in there that you would not see otherwise. And like I say, coupled with Frenet's fabulous artwork, it's exciting. So that's We Are Still Here, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know, and it'll be out April 21st, or April 20th, 2021. But in the meantime, you can enjoy the CD from Live Oak Media and the um, book form of We Are Grateful Ojoli Haliga from Charles Bridge. And I hope you are having a wonderful time uh, getting some creating in while you're at home with families. And I wish you all the best. I know that this is difficult to have the school year disrupted, um, but my heart is with you all. And I hope that you have a wonderful summer. Wado, thank you.